because people are joining. <laughs> Say hello, everyone. Hey. What up? Hey. Hey. What up? I'm Alexander. I love you, Mom. I'm Alexander. <laughs> <laughs> Alexander. <laughs> you need to introduce yourselves on the Periscope for the people. Hi, Periscope. Oh, oh. Here you go. Live in Yo, the what's station. Yo, what's going on? It's your boy, Alex. You know what I'm saying? Kicking it, you know what I'm saying, with Will Wildfire. You know what I'm saying? That's the guy. That's Alex. Ale Alex, but my uncle calls me Alexander. All right. So whichever one y'all prefer, you know what I'm saying? It's cool. It's privileged, though. <laughs> Very privileged. And the star himself. Yo, I gotta fix my makeup first, bro. Oh, like, okay. Nah, He's in the powder room. <laughs> <laughs> everybody else introduce themselves. All right, next up, Mr. You in the Cut. Yeah, you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Bala. Nice to meet you guys. Or see you guys. <laughs> Kid infamous. Will Wildfire, my makeup's done now. Hi, All right, guys. check him hey, out. Alexander, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm Beyonce. Beyonce. Sasha Fierce. Sasha. <laughs> hey, don't he look like, y'all remember that movie, Dope? Bruh, I always get something. Yeah. I always get something. You know what I'm talking about? No, I haven't seen it. No, but no, like no. the the main guy in like I, the ads though, like the advertisement. Right. Like, but it's it's only the hair that I really don't look like. Well, you look just, just like him. Like really I got, look I got, like that guy. I got dope, the dude from the wood. You know what I'm saying? The dude, dude. from the wood. You know, and, <laughs> and, 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 and You definitely look like the guy from the wood when he was yeah, young in yeah. high school, smacked the girl on the butt. Yeah. That's you. That is that's me. That's totally you. Totally you. Totally you. All right, so let's go ahead and get the interview started. We might be blessed with the A and B selection, possibly. Like we're just saying, man. Wait, what does that mean? That's live. A and B. You, you go to church? I do. You heathen? I know, I do. Did I anybody else get that? I didn't. No, I didn't. no, no, no. That's something they do. I'm in a room full of heathens, and I'm saying, can you see my no, head? I, I love told y'all Beyonce. I love Jesus. <laughs> like, God, you're cool. <laughs> no, it's just, um, you know, when the choir sings, they say a, sometimes A and B selecting them these two songs. Okay. I was raised in the old Baptist church. Yeah. You know. Been joined in the studio by a very, very special. Yes, who goes by the name of Will Wildfire. What's up, what's up? How y'all doing? You doing all right today? Mm -hmm. Sure. <laughs> I'm just cool. glad it stopped raining. Yeah. You know? It was kind of crazy. A lot of concerts and stuff were canceled. I was like, yeah. Will better not cancel. He got that big ass straw hat. <laughs> he's, he's protected from the rain and the elements. <laughs> Yo, no, it's so good. Like, I feel it's like my own umbrella, bro. That's why my hair is so still like curly right now, bro. It's not getting wet. See, I might have Pause. to get me a straw hat for my crochet braids. It's are gonna say the same regardless. Mm -hmm. But <laughs> I saw you at the Durham Hip Hop Summit. Yes, ma'am. And I saw a lot of acts perform, you know, throughout the day. <laughs> and one. some I don't know how they got on the bill, but some I was just oh, like, no. wow, you're great. And you were the last <laughs> artist to perform. I guess they kind of say the best for last because I was actually about to leave because I finished my hosting duties. But I was so And then I heard right? you. Oh, you, I was, you saw, oh, you heard me first. Well, here's the thing. You were strolling around all day. And I was like, who is this light skinned dude in this straw hat hey. with this guitar? Hey. And then you ended up performing and <laughs> killed it. I appreciate it. I enjoyed it. it. No, it was so fun. Like, it was, it was like the highlight of the night for me. It was, it was the highlight of my, my night as well. Yeah. And so tell the people, introduce yourself. To the audience of K97. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Will Wildfire on Twitter, Instagram. It's Will underscore Wildfire. SoundCloud is Will Wildfire. I'm actually, uh, I guess I went to school at UNC Chapel Hill too. So like, this is all we listen to. Like, growing up. so this is it's kind of cool. Like, like I know some people that are, are listening and hear me. So hi, I love you. But, he um, really hates you. You can see the look on his face. Ah, yeah, you're, you're on Periscope, awful. by the way. So go follow us on Periscope. All right, cool. But yeah, um, I sing and play guitar. I produce all my own music and stuff. And we've just been trying to like make waves. I live in the QC right now, Queen City, 704. Okay. What's up, guys? And I'm here. Y'all can't see him, but I'm here on the squad. Diverse art group. We got Alex Av, Kid Infamous, Ken Blaze, Mbala. You know, assistant Sarah. I like the shape Imbala just gave me. It huh? gave me life. 
Oh yeah, she's holding them shaking right now. Y'all can't see it, but it looks lame as hell. <laughs> 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 voice of jealous. That, that's the voice of jealousy. Yeah. So, Will, tell me a little bit about your journey. How long did you been doing music? When did wow. you decide that that was what you wanted to do as a career? You know, it's crazy. Like, okay, so I grew up in the church. Like, I'm from the 252. So, you know, shout out Bertie County, Zion Bethlehem. Ah, sucks. Zion of Bethlehem. It's like the church I grew up in, and I, I always like sang and stuff in the choir with my mom. Like my mom really got me singing, and you know, like how you always see like the little kid like with the rat tail, like on the drums, on the piano, like in between stuff. Like that was always me, so I was always doing music. Um, okay. And then I started playing. I've been playing guitar for like seven years now, and uh, I remember the first time like I told my cousins like this is what I wanted to do. It was like right when Hanson's Umbop came out. Like that. Wow, like you want to be like the four hands? Bro, like I, I was like four it. years I can old. See you it. It's because I'm light skinned. Pretty much. <laughs> 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 and I, and I, say, I was like, I was like, Ron, I listened to this. I was like, mm, bop, did, 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 and they bust out laughing. I was like, man, I hate y'all, but I kept playing music. So it was cool. I was like five or four. Okay. So Hanson. Yeah, like, yeah. Hanson. Yeah, Hanson. Bro, like growing up, if you didn't listen to Hanson or NSYNC, I don't care what nobody says, like, you didn't get to sit at the cool kid table. <laughs> Like, in sync is that ish, yeah. and I'm gonna keep it. They were serious. Bro, and Justin Timberlake is still doing it, but my biggest influence is though, like, probably like. Hold on one second, okay? okay. I gotta go live. I'm gonna bring you in on the break, too. Cool. 97.5, the Triangle's only station for hip hop and RB. Hotline Bling, Drake, I'm here, I am, I team, radio, I've just been joined in the studio with a very, very special guest. Introduce yourself to the people. Hey, I'm Will Wildfire on Twitter, Instagram, Will underscore Wildfire. I sing, play guitar, and produce music, and just wear a straw hat. I'm free. It's like nothing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All of that. We are on Periscope Live right now. I'm interviewing him as we speak. You know, we're going to get a little bit out on later as well. Hit me up, 800-321-5975 with your request. Got those tickets to the greatest homecoming on earth. Coming up, Aggie Homecoming Concert, October 24th. Greensboro Coliseum, Future, Wale, Fetty Wap. I don't know if his eye or leg are going to be in attendance. You know, he injured himself in that motorcycle crash, but hopefully he's going to be there. So what I need you to do is keep listening to the Triangle's only station for hip-hop and R&B. It's K97.5. I'm ratchet on that. He said he didn't look both ways. Hey, nobody caught it, right? Shady. <laughs> I caught it. No, 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 Shady. No, 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 no. The people on Periscope. Shady. <laughs> that guy, bro. It was just a joke, man. Nah. That's cool. That's humor. I love it. Cool, man. All right. So let's pick back up. Hanson, you were mbopping your life away at the age of five, and, and you were in the church playing instruments. You were that annoying little kid that kept yeah. banging on the drums and stuff like that. I was the annoying kid that banged on the drums. I was the annoying kid that brought a guitar to school. And it's so crazy, like, the same dudes that's like, why are you always bringing that guitar to school? All in there, like, yo, you're doing dopeness now. Yo, I'm going to be humble. Nice. Day. That's I'm what's up. Talk trash in music. Well, I would have been like, F you. Nah. But, you know, <laughs> I, I have to with you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, oh, right. I can't say it because we're, all right, I'm cool. <laughs> All right, so tell us about the journey from there when you were five years old and in the church to where you are now when you're making music. Yeah, well, actually, I went to school again, like I said, at UNC Chapel Hill, and um, I started listening to, like, a lot of, like, uh, like I guess right before I went to college, like, 11th grade, listening to, like, Fall Out Boy, Blink-182, and I just started playing guitar mm -hmm. heavy, and uh, when I went out at Chapel Hill, I always just sit and play guitar in the pit. So I met a lot of people, like, if you ever, like, were in school with me, like, you knew me as, like, the kid with the straw hat, like, you know, playing guitar, and, like, we were always linking vibe, and I don't know, like, everybody just, you know, show love. It's, like, something about music, man, makes everybody connect, and Absolutely. just met a lot of, a lot of people doing that, and uh, I learned to, I shout out, I just got out the studio, actually, on the way here, where I'm up, got Apple Juice Kid, he's kind of like my mentor, he taught me how to make beats, because they had, like, a class mm -hmm. uh, at uh, UNC Beat Making Lab, shout y'all out, too. And uh, I just started making my own beats and, and playing guitar a lot and stuff. Do you play by ear? Yeah, I do. I can't. I'm like drum a lot. Like, I had one class at uh, <laughs> UNC, like, and it was like a guitar class. And so, I know I'm talking real long. But, like, on the guitar, you can make, like, the same notes on different strings. And so, I would always wait, like, for exams. I would wait for the guy to, like, you know, the teacher to just play. Uh -huh. And then after, like, the third time, he was like, yeah, that sounds right. But, you know, you're not actually playing what's on the paper, right? And I was like, yeah, he was like, yeah, maybe classical thing. isn't for you. So I was like, yeah, you're probably right. And so I got it, and, you know, I passed the class. That's a skill. It's a gift. 
yeah. to be able to play by ear. So can you read music now or are you still? Uh, nah, I mean, not to say there's no point, but. There's no point because <laughs> I'm just like, great, like. <laughs> I mean, I, I can, you know, I used to play clarinet in band. So Me I too. Clarinet. Yeah. Wood wind, throw your hands up. No, nobody else plays wood wind. That's fine. No, no. only y'all. <laughs> <laughs> you wish. Yeah. I, I can see you with the oboe. Mm -hmm. I, I, I definitely can see you with the oboe on the march. You look too cool for that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cool. I just want to do a quick little plug, too, actually. Like, these guys are out of, like, North Carolina. It's called The Wild. Like, they make the dopest clothes. We have a big movement going on. It's The Wild, like, T-H-E in space W-H-Y-L, like, in all caps. Every time you spell wild, you got to spell it out in all caps or you, like, can't sit with us. <laughs> um, but, yeah, like, they make dope clothes. They have the biggest thing and stuff now. And then, so nice. We got a song coming out called The Wild. Okay. Um, What's your last name? Where's the wild, wildfire come from? Uh, actually, my boy Chauncey. Like, we were just thinking, like, yo, you gotta have like a cool name. Like, we was like, eighteen. He's like, you gotta think of a cool like name. And I was like, I don't know what about wildfire. And we just thought it was the corniest thing ever, but folks just started calling us and it stuck. And I'm crazy as hell. So like, okay, it works. Um, <laughs> do you set stuff on fire or no? Uh, nah, but no. I'm, pre I'm a pretty hot guy. Okay. Oh. <laughs> we'll let the ladies. <laughs> Besides it's like, that. Now I'm ugly, bro. Like, I have gap teeth. Super and, like, ugly. Hair. He's terrible like, looking. Why are we even on Periscope? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, tell us about the music that you have out right now, Prince of the yes. City. Tell us a little bit about Prince of the City. I will. So, Prince of the City, again, like I said, I um, am living in Charlotte, North Carolina right now. As you know, it's the Queen City. Mm -hmm. And uh, it just basically, I started writing that a lot around the time where a lot of craziness was going on. Like, like in society, like culture-wise, you know, like they're killing kids with their hands up and stuff like that. And I just wasn't really happy with it. So that's how I kind of started writing that song. But Prince of the City really is just, you know, my mom always says, you, or grandma always says, you can do something, you know, whether it's like being bad or being good, like be the best at whatever it is mm -hmm. you're doing. And so that's the whole idea behind Prince of the City is like, it started off as kind of frustration, but everybody wants to be like the prince of whatever they're doing, whether you make music or like you're an artist. Right, or you're you want to be fashion. the best at what you do. Right, and so with Prince of the City, it's just like my take on that with all the stuff that was going on. Cause like they don't really care about it, like me, uh, yeah, mm -hmm. you know. I just care about how we look on TV, and especially like with this day and age, like your content isn't anything without your delivery. So a lot of times when I write, I'm writing about different things that other than what I'm actually speaking on. But I want people that are listening to be able to bump it. So I put some nice guitar in there, put some 808s, we can rock it in the club, and. You know, you can sing along and have a good time, but I'm still okay, too, because I'm not just only, like, doing, like, popping commercial right. stuff. So, it, it's, like, best of both worlds. But uh, shout out my boy, Head Graphics. He actually shot the video. I still got to make, like, the bruh button on Vine. Wow, that's oh, pretty cool. It's like, bruh. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, Prince of the Seed, the video came out. It got on Chris Brown's blog, Mechanical Dummy, so that was cool. And that was pretty dope. Like, yeah. that's kind of random, right? What did you, what was your first reaction when Chris Brown is, like, yeah, I mean, it's, it's like actually through like my PR lady and stuff, and so like she's really good. Her name is uh, Shot Bellamy. I probably shouldn't have gave her name. She's gonna kill me. Um, but yeah, she's really good, and uh, we just got a lot of content on the way. So this is like the calm before the storm, really, right now for us, like music wise. Because me and Bala, or I call her Mimi, but Bala got a lot of stuff on the way. I've been producing for like these guys over here too, like I'm working together and. I saw a new track that you that you had with Mbala that you just produced. What was the name of it? You just posted it. Oh, Boomerang. Boomerang. That's yeah, Boomerang. I, I, I thought it was Boomerang, but I didn't want to say it and be wrong. Yeah. Because then that just wouldn't be cool. Yeah. Um, being right is, is awesome. So, yeah, Boomerang. It's kind of dope. I like Appreciate it. Mbala, we're going to have to have you on next. Oh, God. Hey. She's like, hey. what? Hey. Yeah, I'm here. <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> That's definitely what's up. So, are you gonna, you know, sing something for us? I can. can you know, sing you something think the mic for will us? pick it up if I like play guitar. Or, like, I, I think it will. Right that mic is kind of dope. Okay. <laughs> you got a preference? Um, you, you can sing, you know, whatever the spirit, however the spirit moves you, mm. whatever you're led to do. Mind. Just, just bless us one time.
across the night time The city wakes a sleepless eye Hear a voice Shave my window Sweet seduce seems the eyes Get me out Into the night time For eyes won't hold me tonight Here, I'll let you get your water, Ooh. and then I'll ask you a couple more questions. And, and then if you want to see something, or yeah, I might put my mouth all 